Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Live East. My name is Rhys Crawford and today we have a very exciting show for you. We will be discussing what you can do for Valentine's Day, both here in London and even abroad, and also hearing some live music from Billy Nelson and Jamie Skinner. This is Live East Valentine's Special. Right now, I can definitely guarantee you that you have just entered a very love-filled Live East studio. Today we have several surprises in store with the usual talented artists performing. Let's go straight into it and meet our first artist, Billy Nelson. Hi, I'm Billy Nelson. Uh, I'm 19 and I'm from London. My biggest musical inspiration is uh, Ben Howard. He does just everything that I love and what I do, so ever since I listened to him, I was like, cool, that's what I'm going to do. See, 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 
Thank you so much for that, Billy. That was absolutely amazing. And we will be hearing another song from Billy a little bit later. But for now, let's not waste any time and get acquainted with our second guest. It's Jamie Skinner. Hi, I'm Jamie Skinner. I'm a 21-year-old singer-songwriter from London. I have a lot of different musical inspirations. I like stuff from Busted and McFly to Green Day and Blink-182, a whole wide range of things. My style of music is very much a mix of pop rock and pop punk, so it's keeping in the rock side, keeping in elements of pop, making everything as cool as it can be and lots of fun. So with my, we're going into the studio very soon, we're getting some album stuff sorted. Lots in the summer as well. Another great performance there, and obviously let us know what you think online. Uh, we do want you all to be able to get involved with the show, even when the episode is over. So to get involved, please do contact us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the information you need should be magically underneath me right now. Um, I now have the pleasure of speaking to both of our lovely guests together. Makes a rare occurrence. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. Hey. Firstly, yeah. both amazing. Um, right, so we're going to ask you a few questions. It's okay, it's not like a hot seat thing, it's fine. <laughs> um, 
going to start with the stereotypical question for music artist is what got you into music? I'm going to start with Billy. Uh, what got me into music was when I was younger. I think everyone has this obsession. Uh, I was obsessed with Avril Lavigne. I love her. Um, but that wasn't really what made me start playing or wanting to do it. It was just, oh, I love this, it's fun, I'm going to dance. Um, it was in year 11 when uh, someone introduced me to Ben Howard and uh, it, was, it was just the feeling of like listening to that and then maybe creating something like that and being able to share that. Um, and then I came across so many other cool people just going searching like, oh, who's a cool guitarist? And yeah, that's why I got into it. So let's throw the same question over to Jamie. How did you get into music? Well, I was surrounded by music from just, from birth, pretty much. Both my parents were like massive musos. So from day one, it was listening to The Clash, The Who, Rolling Stones, everyone in between as ever and everything. And then I got to about 11, 12 years old and just started to find my own music that I liked. So stuff like Green Day, Blink-182 and that whole sort of pop punk rock vibe. And just started to teach myself guitar, taught myself how to write songs a little bit. And then there you have it. Here we are. There you have it. Here we are performing songs. <laughs> yeah. um, so what sort of performance are you doing? You're both quite new to the industry. What sort of performance are you giving? Where are you performing to who? Well, in 2015, I did a support slot supporting a band called Hey Violet. They went on tour with Five Seconds of Summer, a huge like, pop rock band. And I supported them. They rang me on the day and they just said, we're looking for a support act. Are you available to play today? And it was just mad because I went and played this sold out show in front of 300 and something kids. And just the reaction you get is just insane. It's just great. The same? Is it the reaction? Is it the, the buzz of being on stage and having people perform? And yeah, I think it's the, I think it's kind of the buzz of being on there but also coming off as well because like when you go on there and then you perform, when you come off you get like this massive adrenaline run. Mm. I don't know if you get that as well. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, what did I just do? And then, um, yeah, just people coming up to you and being like, oh yeah, I really enjoyed it. Like, do you have a business card? And you're like, oh, I need to make those. So, well, yeah. speaking of that buzz when you're on stage, we're going to let you get off now for your next performance. So if you go and do that, um, I'm going to ask you one final question while they get ready for that. This is the hot seat now, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to ask you the question, and I quite like asking this question to artists because I always get a very varied answer. Um, but if you could perform anywhere in the world, in any stadium, any venue, any country, to any audience, what would you do? A lot of questions in there. <laughs> yeah. I think the dream would be to play somewhere like Madison Square Gardens. It's like the O2 Arena of New York City. It's a great venue to go to, and uh, I'd love to play that one day. It would be incredible. Brilliant. Well, maybe you will. And you can pop out and get some cheesecake as well. <laughs> Fingers crossed, yeah. Calculate. Or pretzels, depending on your preference. Either or. I'm, both. I'm not judging. Or <laughs> yeah. mm, waistline, waistline. <laughs> Well, we have had some great content so far. Still to come, we have our romantic collaboration song a little bit later. And of course, we have our film on what to do this Valentine's Day. But for now, we're going to go back to Billy with her second song, I Worship the Ground We Share. Cause I wish that I could swim away from numbness in my bones and that includes you my dear and it's sad for me to say to say I just need some time to get over your stare your stare so No 
telling you the whole truth about leaving so bare. Cause I swear I'm not being unfair. I just can't tell you about how I worship the ground we share. the ground that we share Cause I worship, I worship, I worship the ground that we share Cause I swear Thank you once again, Billy, for another great performance for the Live East audience. Now, with an average of 180 million Valentine's Day cards being exchanged each year and an estimated 61.8% of us celebrating Valentine's Day, it's certainly an event for your calendar. Now, for those lovebirds out there who sent our team on a mission to find out what you can do around London or Paris to keep your loved ones happy. tips from our team there. I hope everyone is having a lovely Valentine's Day so far. My personal plan is to go home and consume a whole bottle of wine, but everybody's different. <laughs> so to make your day even more special, here is Jamie with his song, Run. Am I wrong to be thinking it? Was it on me from the start? Never expected to be feeling this in your arms Am I wrong to be thinking it? The shooting pain in my heart Are we just right to be believing it in our heart? Never thought it'd be easy Never thought it'd be simple Has it all gone too far? 
Oh, we just run to be condemning it in our hearts. Never thought it'd be easy. Never thought it'd be simple. Falling apart into pieces. This isn't what we want. We are the bullet from the gun. Lift off the sea. Where we'll ride We are the bullet from the gun Lift off the ceiling and we'll run Whoa, where we'll run So another brilliant song that, and we will be going back to the studio a little bit later. Um, but now we just want to put out a message to any artist that is unusual or different that will want to come onto Liveys. Please do contact us at liveystv at gmail.com or through our Facebook page, and we will get in touch with you and see if you want to be on the show. Now, moving on, as I'm sure you can tell, we are now on level four. So I've just run up four flights of stairs um, in Ravensbourne. Where I'm gonna, there's a few people sitting around, and I'm going to go and speak to a few people about what they want to do for Valentine's Day or what they enjoy doing. So let's go and see who we can find. Hello. Hello. Sorry, don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I'm just sort of butting in your conversation. So I'm from Live East. We're shooting a show today all to do with Valentine's Day, obviously being Valentine's Day. So I want to ask you, what is your best Valentine's memory or anything about Valentine's Day that's memorable for you? We'll start over here. I'm probably not the best person to ask. I'm a bit of a Valentine's Day Scrooge. I don't believe in it. But other people have their own opinions, but this is just mine. Well, that's fair enough. My plan is to go home, eat chocolate and drink wine. So, you know, it's, 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 I think it's the best sort of plan. We'll go over here then. Valentine's Day. What do we think? Um, well, quite similar to you as well, actually. Chocolate and wine. I'll say the best year is when I get the most expensive chocolate. So Lindor probably. <laughs> Lindor chocolate is very, very good. Um, and also good wine makes a very, very big difference. Um, so going over here, what do we think? Um, might go out for the evening, wine and dine, and then head home, comfy night in. Wine and dine with a special someone? Yeah, yeah, of course, uh, my other half. Obviously not with myself, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I often go out on my own and drink wine, so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, I'll, I'll think of that. <laughs> right, we've got a little bit more time. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to go over here. Right, hello. hello. Sorry, I'm from Live East. We're doing a Valentine's special today. Okay. Tell me your best memory of Valentine's Day. Uh, when I got three cards in one day and I didn't know what to do, it was amazing. You'd never guess now, would you? I would certainly send you a Valentine's Day card. Thank you so much. That's really <laughs> warmed my heart. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm now going to send you back down to the studio where our two artists are ready for their collab to see how they're doing. Let's send you back down. Doing just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay Hey Tell your friends it was nice to meet them But I hope I never see them again I know it breaks your heart Moved to the city in a broke down car And Four years, no calls Now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar And I, I, I can't stop No, I, I, 
I can't stop. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your Rover that I know you can't afford. Bite the tattoo on your shoulder, pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. We ain't ever getting older. No, we ain't never getting older. No, we ain't ever getting older. You look as good as the day I met you. I forgot just why I left you. I was insane. Stay and play that Blink 182 song. Do we beat to death in Tucson? Okay. I know it breaks your heart Moved to the city in a broke down car And four years no calls And now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar And I, I can't stop No, I, I can't stop So baby, pull me closer In the backseat of your Rover That I know you can't afford Tattoo on your shoulder, pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. We ain't never getting older. We ain't never getting older. Oh, we ain't ever getting Getting older, so baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover that I know you can't afford. Bite the tattoo on your shoulder, pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. We ain't ever getting older. No, we ain't never getting older. Guys, 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 another amazing collab on Live East. Well done. Um, first of all, I just want to thank you both for coming in. You've been absolutely amazing guests and amazing performances. Do let us know what you're doing next and we'll keep up with you. Um, if you guys want the information on our two artists, we will have it all on our Facebook and Twitter feeds. Um, and also, if you have any performances, do let us know. We can put the word out there and get some more people there who can come and drink lots of wine. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to have to leave you because we have not got a lot of time left. Um, we've got one final tip from the team and that is to never give up on love. Goodbye.